Close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And make sure it's comfortable. After all, the breath is the force of life. And if the breath is uncomfortable, it's not going to be good for the body. It's not going to be good for the mind. But we tend to forget about it. We put it on automatic pilot and think about other things. And the breath gets neglected, so we don't get the most out of it. Actually, it's a resource that's right close to us. If we take advantage of it, we can find that it gives you a sense of well-being, gives your, the mind a place to stay, so it's not left homeless. And you find that you can create a sense of well-being right here in the present moment, simply by the way you breathe. The Pali word sukha, well-being, also means happiness, pleasure, ease. All these things are things we're looking for. As the Buddha said, wisdom begins when you ask the question, what, when I do it, will lead to long-term welfare and happiness? So it's good to want happiness, but to be wise, you want it to be long-term. And what's wise about that question is that you realize it's going to depend on your actions. What you do will have consequences now and on into the future. So the way you look for happiness is going to determine how long that happiness is going to last. One of the reasons we come to a quiet place like this is we realize that the ordinary pleasures of the world come and go, and they don't provide all that much lasting satisfaction. But there is a happiness that lies deeper inside. This is what the Buddha found. He, takes, he presents it as a challenge. This possibility is here. Are you just going to overlook it and go running after what the world has to offer? Because the world wants to sell you all kinds of things. But do they have your genuine long-term interest in mind? Not necessarily. They're just looking for a quick buck, and so they want to make sure that you go for their quick fix. It takes someone like the Buddha who has the compassion. He finds a true happiness like this, and he teaches it for free for everybody. So he had compassion for us. We should have some compassion for ourselves. You want happiness? You want happiness that lasts. And the happiness that lasts is something that has to come from within. And it has to be harmless. If your happiness creates harm for other people, they're not going to stand it. Because after all, they want to be happy too. But happiness that comes from in, inside doesn't conflict with anyone else's happiness. So this is a happiness that's safe. And as the Buddha pointed out, it's lasting. So there's his challenge. And it's up to us to decide how we're going to take his challenge. But here we are, born as human beings. We've got this opportunity to find a lasting happiness. Other levels of beings don't have this opportunity. We do. So here's your chance. Make the most of it.